हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand FMD modulation using phase lock loop, which is PLL. Here, specifically, we will understand the linear model of phase lock loop. The phase lock loop is a negative feedback system that consists of three major components. So, this is the block diagram of phase lock loop. It consists of three major component. First one. is a multiplier that is used as a phase detector or phase comparator it consists of a voltage controlled oscillator and it consists of a loop filter which is acting as a low pass filter so it has a multiplier which is used as a phase detector or phase comparator it consists of a voltage controlled oscillator which will act as a local oscillator and it consists of a loop filter which act as a low pass filter this is the block diagram of phase lock loop where the input is fm wave which is represented as s of t we are having a signal r of t which is the output of voltage controlled oscillator here the multiplier multiplies these two signal to produce a signal which we call that as e of t which is an error signal this error signal is given as input to the loop filter that will produce the output v of t so portion of output signal is fed back to voltage controlled oscillator to produce the output r of t so we can write the output of voltage controlled oscillator r of t is equal to av cos 2 pi fct plus phi 2t let us take this as equation number 1 where phi 2t is the phase angle that can be given as 2 pi kv integration of 0 to t v of t dt then the incoming signal s of t and the voltage controlled oscillator output r of t are applied to the multiplier to produce the output e of t is equal to r of t into s of t let us call this as equation number 2 where s of t can be given as ac sin 2 pi fct plus phi 1 of t let us call this as equation number 3 and phi 1 of t is the phase angle of input signal that can be given as 2 pi kf integration of 0 to t m of t dt let us call this as equation number 4 now let us understand the linear model of phase lock loop so this is the linear model of phase lock loop here phi 1 of t is the phase of the input signal phi 2 of t is the phase of the feedback signal if we take the difference between phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t we will obtain the phase phi e of t which is the error signal so this phase should be equal to zero in phase lock loop condition so which means for a phase lock loop to be phase lock phi e of t it should be equal to zero which means the difference between phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t should be equal to zero so the phase of input signal and the phase of the feedback signal should be same at that case we will get phi e of t is equal to 0 the phase lock loop is said to be phase lock if phi e of t is equal to 0 so this is the condition for phase lock we know that phi 1 of t is nothing but 2 pi k of integration of m of t dt and phi 2 of t is nothing but 2 pi kv integration of v of t dt 
Therefore, from figure, we can write phi e of t is equal to phi 1 of t minus phi 2 of t. Let us take this as equation number 5. For a phase log, phi e of t is equal to 0. So, we can write this as 0 is equal to phi 1 of t minus phi 2 of t. From the above equation, we can write phi 1 of t is equal to phi 2 of t. Let us take this as equation number 6. Using equation for phi 1 of t and phi 2 of t, we can write equation 6 as 2 pi kf integration of 0 to t m of t dt will be equal to 2 pi kv integration of 0 to t v of t dt. So, here we can cancel out 2 pi. So, we can write the above equation as kf integration of 0 to t m of t dt will be equal to kv integration of 0 to t v of t dt. Let us differentiate on both sides of the above equation. If we differentiate above equation, this integration along with differentiation will cancel out. That's why we can write kf m of t is equal to kv v of t. Therefore, we can write v of t which is the output of phase lock loop as kf divided by kv m of t. Let us write the above equation as v of t is equal to k m of t. So, here we have replaced kf divided by kv by a constant k. From the above equation, we can say that the output of phase lock loop is directly proportional to the message signal m of t. In this figure, h of t represents the low pass filter. The output of low pass filter is v of t. So, this v of t is directly proportional to the message signal m of t. So, we can say we can recover the message signal m of t using linear model of the phase lock loop. So, the message signal is recovered by demodulating the FM signal. This is about FM demodulation using phase lock loop and linear phase lock loop. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.